I'm going to try that recipe I've seen floating around Facebook. It's got four chicken breasts. I seasoned mine with just seasoning salt. I guess you could do lemon pepper or garlic, whatever you want to season your chicken with. Two boxes of stuffing. I just have two cornbread. Large can or two small cans of cream of chicken soup. A cup of sour cream. A cup of water. Um, green bean, a small bag and some spray for the crock pot. We'll be back. First, we're gonna spray our lovely crock pot thing and lay the four chicken breasts on the bottom. La la. Oops. Now I need to open up my stuffing. I haven't done that, so hang on. All right, now I'm gonna pour Two bags of stuffing on top of the chicken. And spread it all out evenly. And then I've mixed together the can of cream and chicken soup and the cup of sour cream, and I'm just going to kind of frost it over the top of this. Um, so I will be back when that is complete. I found if you just pop it all in the middle and then spread it all out, it works really well. Now you're going to top this with your frozen bag of green beans and spread them all out. And then now you put in a cup of water. And you put this on high. And we will come check it in a little while. While the stuff's cooking in a, the crock pot, we're going to take a little cooking intermission and go through the woods. We're going to town, this Heidi Ho. Got a little bag of candy to take to my cousin at the bank for her son. And um, we got to go make a deposit. And I got to mail a few things and pick up my drugs at the drugstore. And it's so pretty out in here today. It's a beautiful day. I could live like this all year round. I really could. I have a little coat on. It's a little cool, but not so bad. It's supposed to get warmer today. Uh, but you having fun, Heidi Ho? This is her favorite thing to do. Look at the world. As long as people don't bug her. Okay, we're going to roll the town now. Let's check it out. It's percolating. It's been cooking for a couple hours. It is 1 o'clock. I want to put it on low. Because we're not going to eat till later on this evening and just let it go on low until later. Okay, this is going to be a two for recipe video. I'm going to make a corn casserole. My mom used to make this. I don't know if this is a recipe because I can't find it. I just found this online. I'm going to try it and see if it tastes like what she used to make. One can cream style corn. One can whole kernel corn. 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 <laughs> um, I got the no salt added. A can of Jiff, I mean a box of Jiffy corn mix, a cup of sour cream, a stick or half a cup of butter. I gotta melt this, and some Pam and an eight by eight can. So I'm gonna get to melting and opening up all the stuff. Okay, I sprayed my pan with some Pam. And then I put my sour cream and you just pretty much dump everything together. My corn, my corn muffin mix, my butter, and my cream style corn. Empty, yep, it's empty. And I'm heating the oven, just beeped at 350. Now I'm going to get this all mixed up. Okay, I got it all mixed up. It's nice and fluffy. And we're going to put it in here. And then put it in the oven for about 55 to 60 minutes. And we'll see what it looks like. There it goes. Goodbye, little corn casserole. We have squash in our bacon, too. See you in an hour. Well, the corn casserole baked for an hour, and now I'm going to let it sit here and rest and kind of firm up a little bit because it's still very delicate. 
but um, it's nice and browned around the edges and it smells really good. But we shall see when we try to cut into it and have some for dinner. Well, out of curiosity, I ran a knife in the middle and it still comes out a little gooey. So I'm going to put it back in just for a little while longer and see. I'll put it in for maybe another 10 or 15 minutes because that middle is just a little not quite done. Well, there's the corn casserole. I put it in for another 10 minutes. And then here is the crock pot stuff. So we're going to put the servings on our plate and see how it is. I would say when you make this to stir it up a little bit and make sure the stuffing has juice on it so it isn't dry because the first scoop I took out was a little bit dry so I stirred it all up. But now I gotta try to get a serving out of that bad boy. What did you taste? Pickle beet. Oh. Very good. This is probably too hot here yet. You think? Yeah. It's like a casserole once you get it's it out. Too hot. Too hot? Burn your lips? Yep. Yeah. And uh, the corn stuff kind of went all bloop, but, you know. It is what it is. First time making either thing. Are you making a mess already? Nope. Okay. We'll come back when it's cool enough to eat. Okay. Did you taste it? Good. I don't think it'd be one of his favorites, for sure. But I like it. Chicken's nice and moist. It looks like a mess. I think it's good. It's just hot. Hot. He likes stuffing, stovetop stuffing, so that makes him happy. But now we're going to enjoy. Here's our aftermath. Yes, definitely stir <clears throat> the stuffing when it gets close to being done. You can't really see. And uh, now i got to go do dishes. So my dad enjoyed both of these, and I enjoyed both of these. We have plenty left for tomorrow.